Hey guys, it is uh, Spooky Noodles, and I am here with a reading vlog. Um, honestly, nothing's changed. Um, the only thing that's changed is what book I will be reading after Down on the Farm. And honestly, I have no idea. I gave you guys a TBR, and I'm totally don't know if I'm actually gonna follow through. Um, this is the book I'm reading right now. I have like 40 pages left in the book. I'm on page 180 and there's 216 pages, so 36 pages left in the book. Um, I really like this book so far. I, I get, I see a lot of people not liking it. Um, a lot of people say it's just trash, but I'm really digging it. Um, there's a lot to like about this book, so I can't wait to review it. Um, some people say the ending is bad, so I wonder if, because a lot of the time people don't like when things are, um, like, I'm not saying uh, things wrapped up in a good bow or anything like that, but um, people tend not to like endings that where the bad guy wins. Um, and I'm fine with the bad guy winning, you know? Sometimes it's kind of a fresh, a breath of fresh air when the bad guy wins. And that's what I'm expecting for Down on the Farm. Um, I kind of expect the bad guy to win. The baddest thing as it's called in this book, because it has no name, it has no need for a name. So it's called the baddest thing by uh, this little girl. Um, and I have a feeling the ending is gonna be tragic and I can't wait for that. And if it's not tragic, then that's cool too, you know? Um, not every book needs to be tragic, but um, it's a, just a fresh breath of air when things just don't go right for the heroes, you know? And to make it a horror book, everyone ha says that uh, the ending has to be bad. Like, the ending has to be not bad as in, like, terrible, but bad as in, like, um, where the bad guy wins, you know? Like, people say it's not a horror book unless, of course, something bad happens at the end. And, uh, this is a horror book, so maybe that's exactly what's gonna happen. Maybe something bad's gonna happen. Um, I expect to re finish this either tomorrow or the next day. Um, I say that because I've been reading 20 pages a day. So, I read a little bit more than 20 pages today. And I'm a little burnt out, so... I don't know if I'm gonna read any more today. I'm at 180, you know. There's 216 word or pages, 216 pages. So, um, like I said, there's 36 pages left. Um, and I don't know if I'm gonna finish it tomorrow, but I'm definitely gonna finish it the next day. So there will be a review in the next two days for this book. Um, there is already a review of this book on YouTube, but I thought I'd just give my take on it you know uh, because I'm enjoying this book a lot and paperback Leon the paperback maniac love this book so there's at least two people out there that love this book so um but Goodreads has it as like 2.89 and uh that I mean this is above three point three stars for sure for me so far I'm gonna give it like a five, four star rating, or like a, maybe 4.5 stars right now. Maybe four stars, I don't know. I can't really, I need it to be done in order to actually be able to rate it because the ending always caps this wonderful book. Like, like what you remember about a book is mostly the ending. So like you'll remember little pieces and parts throughout the book, but the ending you usually remember the most, like Pet Cemetery. I remember some things from Pet Cemetery, but what I remember most is how Gage goes through everybody and that one scene I'm not gonna mention because I don't want um, to ruin it for anybody. If you've read Pet Cemetery, you probably know what I mean, but uh, I remember endings more than I remember anything else in the book. So we'll see if this one has a good ending. But after this book, I have no idea what I'm going to read. I uh, spoke a little bit about what I'm going to read, but it could change dramatically. Um, 
So I will be right back. Um, I'm going to pause the video and then you'll see me back when I have the books ready for you guys. I don't know why I didn't prepare this sooner, but you are right back. All right, I'm back. Um, so this is my current TBR and it could change dramatically uh, very soon. Um, but of course I want to finish Bad Brains by Kathy Koja. I am 56% of the way through it. I'm on chapter 7. It's 207 pages into it. Love this book. It's just... I've fallen victim to these uh, phases I go through throughout the year. Um, throughout the year I go through these phases where I'm interested in certain things. Like one second I'm into Splatterpunk which is what was happening with uh, when I was reading Skins. I went and bought some Splatterpunk stuff and then I switched over to Lovecraftian stuff. So I was trying to push through Bad Brains for the longest time, not push through it because I don't want to push through anything by Kathy Koja because Kathy Koja is an amazing writer. So, but I found myself pushing through it and I stopped because I want to be in the right state of mind to read Bad Brains by Kathy Koja. So, not sure if I'm gonna read this after Down on the Farm, but I thought I'd give it a mention because it's a great book and I'm 207 pages into it, so. And then next we have a Lovecraftian book, which is up on the TBR, top of the TBR. That's Mike Duke's Where the Gods Sleep. And I hear good things about this book, but I also hear like mixed reviews on the author himself. Um, like my friend said, he. He didn't like Crawl, and uh, actually I heard two people not like Crawl. They said it was the stupidest book ever, and was poorly written, and I was like, wow, really? Because all I hear is good things about Mike Duke, so, um, but I'm interested in Where the Gods Sleep. Um, it's a Lovecraftian book, and I love the way it, the introduction states how it works. Um, but basically, it's like a collection of, not a collection of stories, but a collection of, like, like people's reports and diary entries and camera feeds, like, descriptions of what's on this camera feed. Uh, and I can't wait to give it a read. I think it follows one guy in particular, and that's Father Garcia. But, uh, I'm not sure. Um, but I'm looking very forward to reading this. Um... This is, this is high up on the TBR, and it all matters if, if a certain book comes in the mail anytime soon, I'm picking that one up first. I'm not going to mention it till I get it, so you will be left in the dark, but that one could change the whole TBR. So, speaking of Lovecraftian things, Clark Ashton Smith is one of those Lovecraftian type authors. Uh, this is The Abominations of Yondo. And this has a lot of the works that I liked and other works that I've never read. So it has like The Nameless Offspring, The Witchcraft of Yulu, or Yulua, The Devotee of Evil, The Epiphany of Death, A Vantage, or A Vintage from Atlantis, and of course Abominations of Yondo, which is like one of my favorite uh, stories of all time. And you just got a bunch of other ones, The Master of Crabs, uh, The Dweller in the Gulf is, I think, my favorite Clark Ashton Smith book. Um, and it just got a bunch of others. Um, but uh, I'm looking, I think I might, you know, start reading a little bit of Clark Ashton Smith. Um, and maybe, it's only like, I, I, it's not that long. Um, I think it's like 250 pages long. I could be wrong, it could be like 300, but no, it's 227 pages long and it's just full of short stories. Um, he was a pen pal with H.P. Uh, Lovecraft, so that's why his work is heavily H.P. Uh, Lovecraft inspired. Um, I think he was like a young guy when he met H.P. Lovecraft and uh, he was heavily influenced by him and he has written some great things. Um, I have a bunch of uh, of uh, Clark Ashton Smith stuff um, because I heard some of his stories by Horror Babble um, and I just went out and decided to grab all his stuff so I have basically everything he's ever written 
Um, I have these little collections that are both all like 200 pages long, and uh, I have like everything. But there probably is some books or work out there that I don't own. But uh, I'm pretty sure I own most of his work, um, if not all. But I thought I'd pick this one up if I if I'm still in the Lovecraft mood and I don't feel like reading Mike Duke's The Other the, Where the Gods Sleep. Um, and and there's this book coming in the mail. And if I get it before I finish uh, Down on the Farm by John Stur, I will um, definitely pick that one up and read that one because I have its sequel that arrived earlier. Um, and yeah, um, and I can't wait to talk about this writer because I hear great things about her and, um, and I like the blurbs that she gets. So I can't wait to show you guys those books, but I have to wait because I'm not going to do a book mail for one book right now. So... I'm waiting the book that I'm waiting for is coming from California so it's gonna take a few days um, I've waited four days already so it should be here in the next two days it said it was gonna get here on the 19th so we will see but I just wanted to mention Clark Ashton Smith because I'm kind of in a Lovecraftian mood and I feel like he could fill the void um Mike Duke could fill the void as well now we got two books here that um, I really want to start, but I'm just not in that mood for. And one of those is Savage Season by Joe R. Lansdale. I want to read this book so badly because I hear wonderful things about it. Um, I just am not in the mood to read this kind of literature. Um, I'm just in that mood for Lovecraftian things. And it stinks because there's so many good books I own that aren't Lovecraftian and yeah. But that's Savage Season by Joe R. Lansdale. And then the last book I wanted to mention here, it is The New Flesh, a literature tribute to David Cronenberg. Um, this is a book that I really, an anthology that I really want to jump back into. I'm like 59 pages into it. And um, it was going well. Um, and it, it's not Lovecraftian, but it definitely um, it definitely has that weird fiction that I, I want, you know. Um, it says there's another page, but I'm not seeing. It. Okay, there it is. So good. Okay. Sorry, I don't know why I was reading that, but um. This one has a bunch of weird stories in it. I like the weird stories so far. Um, I haven't even gotten to the what people consider is the good stuff, so I can't wait to continue reading. I are, I have like a top five going for this one, like what what stories I found really good and what stories. There's not not really a bad story except for one which just went right over my head. Maybe I didn't pay close attention, but uh, enough attention. But uh, I'm really digging this book. I'm only like really early into this book, so I might pick this one up fairly soon. Um, and then there was one book I didn't grab, and that is Lisa Tuttle's uh, Lisa Tuttle's collection, A Nest of Nightmares. I started that and then I stopped, so I might pick that one up too. But um, right now it's all about Lovecraft. Um, don't know why I'm loving that craft, but uh, I am. So I'm just binging anything Lovecraftian right now. Even though Down on the Farm isn't really Lovecraftian, um, um, it's really good. I've enjoyed it a lot, but I really want that Lovecraftian goodness. Um, I was gonna pull the Necronomicon out, out of my bookcase, but I decided not to because that would take a lot of effort. So I did not, but uh, I just want to say Lovecraft craze. I guess this is going to be the month for Lovecraft. Um, and this is the book that starts it off. I'm enjoying it so far. And yeah. But that is my reading vlog. I'm almost finished with Down on the Farm by John Stur. I'm like 36 pages away from finishing it. 
and then after that I have no idea what I'm going to read um, I have all these good books around me and a lot of them are shorter reads um, like this uh, Cassandra Ka Cha I don't know how to say her name it's either Ka or Cha I'm not sure I'll, I'll look it up how to pronounce her name but just I'm giving you a hint there that's the author that I got a book from recently but I won't tell you what it is until with the book mail so you guys can guess and probably be right but um I'm just not gonna introduce the book until I get the uh, first book in the series so uh, there's another hint so <laughs> I hope you guys have a good day I hope you have a spooky night and I will catch you in the next video <sighs> peace out guys now I am become death the destroyer of